There's no frigate like this boat to take us lands away. No, the course is like it's been. And all the words written inside a field with sensory wonders found in between its covers with such an ending light shown to all that ever are in need and to all that might feel incomplete just in a serenity straight from creator's mouth right into the author's heart to write just to tell the whole world about his mind now the book of messages here to find Show to all that ever are in me And to all that might feel incomplete Just in its serenity Straight from creator's mouth Right into the author's heart to write Just to tell the whole world about his mind Now the book of messages here don't go Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord, hallelujah. I bring you a message. I bring you a divine message. I bring you a prophetic message in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise be the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Akivishore has landed in our midst to do us mighty good. The book of Acts 10, 38 says, God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. And from then on, Jesus went about to do good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. He was doing diverse miracle signs and wonders because that was the reason why he was anointed, to do good. And he said, I have landed in your midst to do good. And that is the assignment the Holy Spirit has given me. That is the assignment that God the Father has given me. To make Akivishore known to the world. To make Akivishore known to the world. What does Akivishore mean? Akivishore is the good doer. The one who goes about to do good. And I bring you a message, a prophetic message today. In Jesus mighty much listening. A prophetic message as directed by the King of Kings, by the Lord of Lords. A prophetic message from Akivishore by the Spirit of the living God. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And it is from 1 Peter. 1 Peter 5, 5 to 6. He said, And be ye clothed with humility, for God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, that you may be exalted in due time. Did you hear? 1 Peter Five, five to six. He said, Be ye clothed with humility, for God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due season, in due time. I have a message for you, a prophetic message for you this morning. I have a prophetic message for you this afternoon. I have a prophetic message for you this evening. Wherever you are listening to this prophetic podcast from, let go of pride. Let go of pride. Only so he said to tell you that pride is holding, is what is holding your blessings. You get puffed up. You take pride in yourself. You take pride in the things you do. You take pride in your accomplishments. You just need to take pride in the God that you serve. Yes. 
You just need to take pride in the God that you serve, not for you. You boast too much on how things do not befit you. When your father in heaven knows exactly what befits you. It disguises certain things to see if you for once humble yourself so that it may exalt you in due season. It gives you things. It throws blessings at you. But you fail to acknowledge him all of the time. And they are just tests. Tests that is dropping in your life and in your laps. But you boast in those things as if you, are, you, get, you, are, you have the power and might to achieve those things. Holy Spirit said to tell you that pride is, what, pride is what is holding down your blessings. Because the Father wants to do more. He wants to exalt you more. He can do every. He can do. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He can do anything. There is nothing impossible for God to do. But you need to acknowledge Him. Now listen. Holy Spirit said to tell you: Make amends and be conscious for your Father. Make amends and be conscious for your Father in heaven. So he can exalt you in due season. Make amends. Make amends. Make amends. And be conscious of your father who is in heaven. That is the doer of everything in your life. So he can exalt you. In your due season. Because you are due. You are due. But your pride is blocking your blessings. It's your time for all round beautification. Holy Spirit said to tell you that it's your time for all round beautification. He that has ears, let him hear. You that have ears, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. Let go of pride. You are due for blessings. It is your due season. But your pride is blocking your blessings. May God bless this message. In Jesus' mighty, matchless name. I can assure it is Lord forever and ever and ever and ever. Amen and amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If this message has found faith in your life. If this message has lighted your life and this message is directed to you, dear child of God, send me an email of your testimony of how you let go of pride and how God, the Father, bless you abundantly in your due season. I want to hear from you. I want to hear your testimony. Send me an email, thebookofmessages at gmail.com. Thebookofmessages at gmail.com. Dot com. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And if you want to re- receive Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And let go upright completely. And enter into the kingdom of light. You know, if you, have, if you don't have Christ in your life. You are nobody. No blessings can come to you in your due season. If you are still sitting on the fence and don't have Christ in your life. And all you need to do is say, Lord Jesus, I give you my life. Say, Lord Jesus, I give you my life. Lord Jesus, I give you my life. And let say it with every fiber in you. Say it with every intent of your heart. And Holy Spirit will come to you and begin to work his good work in your life. And every blessing that has been hanging at your due season will be released. Your life will be beautified in Jesus' mighty match lesson. Welcome to the kingdom of light. If you've given your life to Christ, send me an email. The book of messages at gmail.com. I want to hear your salvation testimony. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The book of messages is out on Okada books. Okada books. Just type the book of messages by Rachel Adeleko 
and get your copy. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And if you want to request for your ad copy, send me an email as well. The book of messages at gmail.com. I would love to take your orders, your requests for the book. Terms and conditions do apply. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. May the word you've received today, let go of pride. First Peter 5, 5 to 6. Let go of pride. May the word you've received today find light in your life in the name of Jesus. And may it make you drop every weight of pride in Jesus mighty matchless name. Amen and amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I will come your word again to deliver yet another message. By the Spirit of the Living God. Another message from Akirishore by the Spirit of the Living God. This is the assignment. This is my assignment to deliver the message, the, this prophetic message, and to make Akirishore known to the ends of the earth. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'll come your way again to deliver yet another message to you, dear child of God. If Jesus tarries, praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I leave you with peace in the name of Jesus. I leave you. With the Holy Spirit working in you to remove every weight of pride. In Jesus' mighty, matchless name. Amen and amen. Bye for now.